By the time Demetrius returned home from his supply run, it was already dark. He tried to explain to me that he brought something back with him. Now, I can usually get by with my Spanish, but I couldn't understand a thing he was saying. He led me to the creek behind the house where I saw this. It was an unborn calf found in the womb of a butchered mother cow. Like I mentioned earlier, when in Panama, eat an unborn calf. After cutting it into pieces, we smoked it all night long, and finally, I had it for breakfast. Later that morning, Demetrios again saddled the horse. Meanwhile, I thought about the fact that I was never introduced to Demetrios' wife, Sekta. She had been hiding down in the kitchen the whole time. I told Demetrios that I couldn't come all the way up this mountain and not get his wife on film. So after a little persuasion, Sekta came out and finished preparing the horse. Once again, we set out walking. Yes, up hills and down hills. Up more hills and down more hills. Finally, we came to the corral area. Demetrios and Alexander grabbed their gear and went off to hurdle the cattle up the hill to the corral. Meanwhile, Sekta and Cholito gathered wood and built a fire to heat the branding irons. It took longer than we thought to get the cattle rounded up and moved up the hill. So we waited and waited and waited and waited some more. Finally, the cattle were coming up the hill with Demetrios and Alexander and the dogs all in trail. Sekta prepared the fire once again to ensure that the irons were good and hot. No lo suelte. After branding the cattle, we moved them to another field closer to the house. For me, upon returning to the house, I packed up most of my gear in preparation to head out the following morning. I just had to say my goodbyes. Dele adios. Dele adios. Adios, Cholito. <laughs> bueno. Mm -hmm. Okay, bueno. Mm -hmm.